after England defeated the French at the Battle of Brimule, Normandy was back in King Henry's hands. But one year later, his good fortune turned to tragedy. In 1120, his son and heir, William Adeline, died in a shipwreck. The future of Henry I's kingdom was in jeopardy. Henry desperately needed a new heir. With no legitimate sons left alive, he broke with tradition and chose his daughter, Matilda. Henry forced his barons to swear an oath to accept Matilda as queen. But when the king died, they broke their promise. England would not be ruled by a woman. Matilda's cousin Stephen saw his chance and claimed the throne. The crisis moved to the capital. At Westminster Abbey, Stephen was crowned king, but Matilda wanted what was hers. She was also lining up powerful supporters who would fight Stephen for her right to rule. Their conflict engulfed England in civil war. Fighting raged throughout the land. In 1141, everything focused on one of the kingdom's most strategic cities, Lincoln. Matilda's allies had commandeered the castle. But King Stephen was determined to take it back. He besieged the castle. Stalemate. As dawn broke on February the 2nd, everything was about to change. Matilda's half-brother, Robert of Gloucester, raced to break the siege. As Robert's forces approached Lincoln, Stephen's army turned away from the castle to face them. Robert could win Matilda the crown, but only if his army could win the day. Robert of Gloucester's forces approached Lincoln. Their task, to liberate the castle from King Stephen's siege. While behind Lincoln's walls, troops loyal to Matilda held the castle for the Empress. First, Robert's forces would stage an ambush to prevent enemy reinforcements from joining with King Stephen's army. Robert's men concealed themselves in a sheltered grove and lay in wait for the enemy. What will thou? It do a sua thuetest. It for fethines. Robert's 
Robert defeated the first column of Stephen's reinforcements, but he knew more were on the way. Each fourth death in Hesse. And Shanka fourth of her. Hesse shall be here. Each to a sore threatest. With more of Stephen's reinforcements eliminated, Robert was steadily undermining the siege. Here we go. We're back at the Men of Armas, we're back for Ende Utter. Fereth to our Ende, Men of Armas. It's obey thine hess. It's for the thinness. It's your way, thine hess. Robert's men decimated King Stephen's reinforcements and were poised to break the siege. Continuing the push towards Lincoln, Robert sent in a large company of reinforcements to aid his vanguard. To further weaken the siege, Robert would need to cut off Stephen's supplies. He targeted the nearby market town. Yeah, the Hestas! 
Matilda's cause, a large group of knights arrived at Lincoln to bolster Robert's army. With the market town in ruins, King Stephen's supplies began to dwindle. Robert received word that Welsh troops under Matilda's banner were en route to join forces with him. But King Stephen had the roads to Lincoln heavily guarded, and the route was not without risk, even for the hardy Welshmen. Condente to serve. Look, you will be ready, Frekis. Making their way to Lincoln, Matilda's Welsh allies were ambushed by the king's soldiers. Robert's men would need to aid the Welsh if they wanted their help in breaking the siege. Forces on the road to Lincoln, Matilda's allied troops made for the castle to lift the siege. He shall lay the yard. Shall lay the yard. <laughs> it's liver to hear it. Robert's forces spotted a large detachment of Stephen's soldiers guarding the castle gates. If they hoped to liberate Lincoln, they would need to break the blockade and rout the army. Come <laughs> on. 
Robert's forces scattered the king's army, leaving the gates to the castle unguarded. Robert's men finally united with Lincoln's garrison. They could now use the castle to strengthen their army. To lift the siege, they needed to destroy the enemy camps surrounding the castle. It's limit to hear it. Every charm and ten death. Block and a woo-doo, swoo hat. It is seat that we shall lay it down. It is Sitha at Mina World. Fell. Yet to the red readeth new, Tulkis. Speramen Yara. Speramen appointed spirits. Look, you will be ready, Frekis. At Mina World. Frekis Harkin. New Hestus. Yefe may of sewers a hector. Matilda's forces struck hard, destroying one of King Stephen's siege camps. King Stephen's army dwindled as Matilda's forces struck down another Knitters. siege camp. It's never to hear that! Knitters today is number done! Yet to the Rollis with it! Surtis! Yarwe Shertum! Have any bone for Rende! Sterende or qua of surfer shatter. It can do.
king's army was scattered, and those who didn't fall fled. King Stephen was spotted, shielded by his men. To end the siege, Matilda's forces needed to capture Stephen and rout his army. Fourth War de Frecas, mid Baldenes. Between us, they hide. Serpent shattered. Boa is in our way, man. Go get no men.
Stirrette of Sua, he said. And sweets, sir, yes. It can do. Look at your beauty ready, Freckis. We are getting past this. Duty is none more dead. No, okay. it's living to hear it. No, Tulkas. Who to readeth no, Tulkas? Matilda's men closed in and finally captured King Stephen. Matilda's forces had won the Battle at Lincoln. But the fight for the crown was not over yet.